Oh my god, Amelia, are you there? Amelia! Please answer me, I need to talk to you right now. Hey, Shelly. What's up? Why are you so frantic? Oh my god, mom is so annoying. She told me to leave the house again. I wish you would stop going on about it already. She's been nagging me for weeks and I can't take it anymore. Yeah, but come on. Give her a break. You're almost 30 and you're freeloading. You still don't even have a job. Which I think is crazy. You should be more independent and responsible by now. No, but exactly. That's all the more of a reason for me to stay living with her. She can take care of me, and I don't have to worry about anything. It's perfect. No, I mean, you should get a job instead of living rent-free and relying on mom all the time. You're taking advantage of her kindness and generosity. Don't you feel guilty at all? So, you're taking her side over mine? You're my sister. You're supposed to be on my side, Amelia. You're supposed to support me and understand me. Not always. <laughs> if anything, I'm saying it for your sake. I'm only watching out for you. I want you to be happy and successful in life. How is that watching out for me? How is telling me to get a job and leave the house watching out for me? That sounds like the opposite of watching out for me. Because you're spoiled already. And I don't want you to be like that for the rest of your life. I don't want you to be dependent on others and have no sense of self-worth. I want you to be proud of yourself and your achievements. I'm not, though. I'm not spoiled. I'm just smart. I know how to get what I want without working hard for it. Oh, trust me. You're spoiled. You know, mom's been really generous about this. So many other moms would have kicked you out by now, I swear. Don't forget that, Shelly, okay? Don't take her for granted. She loves you and she wants the best for you. Oh my god, you're beginning to annoy me now too. You sound just like her. You're always lecturing me and judging me. Well, then get a job and quit acting like a spoiled brat. How's the job search going anyway? Weren't you supposed to go to that job agency before? The one I told you about? What job search? What job agency? I don't know what you're talking about. You didn't go there, did you? I helped you write that resume for nothing? I spent hours on it, trying to make you look good and professional. And you didn't even bother to use it? Well, it wasn't much of a resume, was it? It was mostly lies and exaggerations. You've made up stuff that I never did or learned. It was ridiculous. Says you. <laughs> Shelly, when are you ever going to get a job? Why don't you want to get one anyway? We all have to work, you know. We all need to earn a living here. We can't just sit around and do nothing all day. I know, I know, but I don't like working. It's boring and tiring and stressful. I'd rather do something fun and easy and enjoyable. Then why not get your lazy behind up and find a job that you like? A job that suits your interests and talents. Cause it's super boring. All jobs are boring. There's nothing wrong out there that I would enjoy doing. And even if there was, I wouldn't get hired anyway. I have no skills or qualifications or experience. And you think my job is super exciting? Well, no. And that's why I don't want to work. And how would you even know how boring it is to work anyway? You've never even held a proper job in your entire life. Well, that's because I never had to, did I? All the guys have dated, took care of me and got me everything I wanted for me. They paid for my bills and my clothes and my trips and my gifts. They treated me like a princess and made me feel special. Once you get used to that, trust me, it's hard to live life any other way. Oh God, 
You really have become a spoiled brat. When are you ever going to stop being so spoiled? What if you grow old and you're not as young or popular anymore with the guys? We all get wrinkly and old, you know. You can't keep relying on your youth your entire life. Wouldn't you rather have lifelong skills and actual work experience than just using men for their money? Well, I like it when they provide for me. And I told you it's hard to do things a different way once you know how easy it could be otherwise. I don't want to work hard and struggle and suffer. I want to enjoy life and have fun and be happy. So what? Are you just going to keep finding men and be some kind of gold digger all your life? Is that your plan? Yeah, I suppose. I mean, why not? It works for me. It's what I'm good at. It's what I like. And do you have someone right now? Someone who's willing to put up with you and spoil you and give you everything you want? I suppose not right now, but... Hmm, I don't know. It's getting harder to find guys who can take care of me financially these days. They're either broke or stingy or married or gay. It's not easy, you know. It's a tough market out there. Well, if that's the only thing you're looking for in a guy, then sure, it would make sense that you can't always find one that easily. Look, you're getting old. You're going to have to do things differently eventually, you know? You can't keep living like this forever. You have to face reality and grow up. I don't need you out of all people to tell me that, Amelia. Because you would say that. You're always so boring and serious and responsible. What's that supposed to mean? Are you telling me that I'm old? Who else would I be talking about? You're the oldest and the most boring and the most afraid person I know. You're always working and saving and planning and stressing. You never do anything spontaneous or adventurous or exciting. Oh my god. You're so obnoxious, Shelly. You're so rude and ungrateful and selfish. You have no idea how hard I work and how much sacrifice I make and how much I care. I was actually going to tell you that you need to start thinking of getting Botox to get rid of your wrinkles the other day. You look so old and tired and unhappy. You need to do something about your appearance and your attitude. Oh my god. I can't believe mom has to deal with you every day. Thank god I'm not at home to be around this. You're so mean and nasty and insensitive. You have no respect and no manners and no morals. You're the worst sister ever. Whatever. Anyway, has she said anything to you? Anything about me and my situation and what she's going to do about it? What? Besides the fact that she's sick of you being a couch potato? Besides the fact that she's tired of you taking advantage of her? Whatever, Amelia. You're no help at all. You're just a pain in the neck. Why are you asking me anyway? What makes you think I have any interest in your problems? She told me she wants me to leave within the next three months. She said she can't stand having me around anymore. Oh, really? Finally! <laughs> I've been waiting for this day for so long. You deserve it. Oh, shut up, Amelia. You're such a jerk. I'm really annoyed about that. And I actually need help, money-wise. I don't have enough savings to move out. Okay, so what do you want me to do, Shelly? Because if you're about to ask me for money, I'm not about to lend you any. You know I don't trust you with money. Please, Amelia. I'm begging you, just this once. I knew it. No, don't even think about it. You're not getting a single cent from me. Please, I'm not asking for much. I promise. I know you have plenty of money. You earn loads. You're always bragging about your salary. What makes you think that? How do you know how much I earn? You have no idea. Look at all the high-end things you have. 
I've seen you with their new Chanel bag, you know? And all of your makeup. They're all from expensive brands like YSL and MAC and whatever. You must have spent a fortune on them. And so what? I worked hard for it. I have every right to own it. It's my money. I can spend it however I want. If you want those things, then go and get a job. Stop being a leech. Then please, can't you lend your own sweet sister a bit of cash? Just a small amount. I'll pay you back, I swear. Sweet sister? Yeah, right. No way in hell. I lent you money before and you still haven't paid me back. Remember that $500 you borrowed last year in March? You said you needed it for an emergency. So no, I'm not falling for your lies again. Oh, come on. We let that one go before, remember? You said you forgave me. You said it was no big deal. Yeah, and since then, I told myself I would never lend you any money. So no, Shelly. Don't even try. You're not getting anything from me. Don't be such a sting. You're so stingy and selfish. You don't care about your family. No means no. Stop pestering me. You're so annoying. Fine, be like that. Then I'm going to get married instead. <laughs> what? What are you talking about? I'm going to get married. That's my plan. That's how I'm going to solve my problems. What? And you think that's an actual plan? Your plan B is to get married instead of finding a job? That's ridiculous. Yeah, to your husband Boris. You want to give him to me? What now? What are you saying? Are you insane? Well, you're living the life you're living now. And it's all thanks to Boris, right? He's the one who pays for everything. He's the one who spoils you. It's so unfair that you get to earn money and live off of a rich husband. Uh, Shelly. First things first. Boris is currently unemployed, just like you are now. Except he was made redundant, so he couldn't do anything about it. And besides, he's been looking for a job every day, which is more than what you could be doing right now. Oh, really? He's unemployed. Oh, wow. I didn't know about that. I thought he was still working at that big company. So there's no point in trying to steal him from me. I know your dirty trick, Shelly. You won't get anything from him. He loves me and he's loyal to me. <laughs> Did you actually think I was going to hit on Boris to try and take him away from you? It's you, Shelly. Only God knows you can do something horrible like that. You have no morals. You have no shame. <laughs> I didn't know that you thought I was that popular with men. That to even think Boris might come to me. But then again, I guess I am and always have been a popular girl around here. I'm always getting compliments and attention from guys. You're so full of yourself. You're so vain and arrogant. You think you're better than everyone else? I can't help it if all the guys fall for me, can I? I'm just naturally attractive and charming. I have a great personality and a great sense of humor. I seriously would have never been friends with you if we weren't sisters, you know? You're the worst person I know. You're the opposite of everything I stand for. Hey, don't be so mean. You're hurting my feelings. You're supposed to love me. We're sisters. It's true. You have no sympathy for others. You're so lazy and impatient. You don't know a thing about hard work. We're total opposites. And I just don't agree with your values. Yeah, okay. No need to be so rude, your baby sister. I do have feelings too, you know? I'm not a robot. Oh, do you know? Surprise! I thought you only cared about yourself. You're just jealous of me and I know that. So, 
I forgive you. Jealous? Give me a break. You're delusional. Jealous because I'm single and free, while you got hitched to a man who's broke as hell. What do you mean? How dare you say that? Well, you just said it yourself. Boris is no job. Who would want a husband without money? Oh my god, wait. Are all those handbags and clothes fake? Oh my god, that would be so fake and tacky. You're such a fraud. No. I got everything with my own money, and everything's real. Thank you very much. Well, I wouldn't be surprised if I found out that you were lying all about that. Well, I'm not, Shelly. But still, at least Boris is a sight for sore eyes. If he wasn't as good looking, then he wouldn't be worth much, huh? For you, I would hate to be where you are right now. Man, I've got to make sure I get a good-looking and rich guy when I get married. Thanks for setting a good example of what not to do. Okay. I don't have time for this anymore. I have to go take care of mom. Talk to you later, Shelly. You're going already? Fine. And get a job soon. Whatever. Bye.
Amelia, I thought Boris was super rich. What is it this time, Shelley? I thought it was loaded. He said he wanted to surprise me and showed me the keys to our new apartment. But it's practically a shabby old apartment that poor college students would live in. It's not for me at all. Hello? I thought I could afford something way better than this place. Well, at least you have a roof over your head, Shelly. I thought we were going to start this new life together by moving into your home. With our new baby and everything. I love your house and I could have sworn he said we could live there together. Or what? Was it you who refused to move out? Well, you give me one good reason as to why I should move out of my own home that I paid for, hmm? He didn't pay for it? Nope. You still don't get it, do you? Boris is poor. He doesn't have money. Yes, he does. How can you not know that when it's been months since you supposedly started seeing him behind my back? I know he has money. Darn it. $9,000 a month. I told you, I saw his payslip. Jeez, Shelley. That was mine. That was my payslip. Not Boris's. What? I told you this before. He's a house husband or stay-at-home dad or whatever they call it. I'm the breadwinner here. No way. I thought his dad was a CEO and... Boris worked for him. Yeah, that's me too. Me. I work for his dad's company. My God, how dumb can you be? So are you telling me that Boris doesn't work for his dad? He doesn't earn $9,000 a month? No, he doesn't. Why not? He and his dad had a huge fight right around the time we got married. Ever since then, they haven't said a word to each other. But I've always worked for his company. And his dad thinks I'm too good to let go of me. We get along fine. They're the ones that don't. I still don't get this. Why? Boris just didn't like the pressure and everything. He couldn't handle the pressure of taking over his dad's company, so he quit. And then he spiraled into depression, and I ended up working to provide for us instead. So, he's not going to take over his dad's company? No. In fact, just between you and me, Shelly, his dad wants me to take over his company. What? You? Yes, me. And don't act so surprised. You don't even know how competent I am at work anyway, so there. You got it now? But you're a woman. You're just my sister. And? You can't seriously be telling me that. You don't think a woman can hold a position of authority? Not in this day and age. <laughs> oh my god, no way! So Boris is broke? Is he? Yes, you could say that. Then, wait. Then do you think it could work for his dad now that me and Boris are together? <laughs> you think life is that easy? You think you can get a job just like that? You've got to be kidding, Shelley. Get a grip. Well, he's family now. He'll let me, right? No. Even if you tried, I'll make sure he won't hire you. I don't believe this. You've got to be qualified to get a position in a company, Shelley. Where's your career experience, knowledge, achievements, huh? What do you specialize in? What skill sets do you have that can contribute to the company, huh? Well... None. Jeez, Amelia. You really need to get a grip on reality, Shelley. You've been spoiled and it's enough. You better figure this out and find a way to earn a living. Don't you dare come crying or begging me for help because I won't. Okay, then I'll make Boris work. Easy. Go ahead then. Try it. 
Oh my god, get me into it. Are you telling me that he's broke and he's not going to get a job forever? How should I know? He's yours now, so you should know. Oh my god, no! I can't believe this is happening to me. No, Amelia, take him back. I quit. He's yours now. <laughs> you have no idea how life works, do you? I hope this will be a good lesson for you, Shelly. You really need to experience adversities like this for your own good. You still love him, don't you? Take him back. I used to. I mean, he was everything I wanted back then. He didn't have a job, but that was the one flaw I could look past. And I thought that was love. What an idiot I was, huh? But thanks to this whole situation, I guess I've been slapped in the face. And it's made me realize how I can do so much better than him. I never in a million years thought he would cheat on me. Let alone with my own sister. There's no going back from that, alright? No. Oh, you see, Amelia, there is a way back. What? What do you mean by that? I told you I was pregnant before, right? Right. Well, I'm not. That was all made up. What? You lied about being pregnant? Well, don't make me sound bad, but I had to do something to get Boris's attention on me, didn't I? So what? You faked a pregnancy? Are you serious, Shelly? Oh my god. How much of a cow are you? So, there. See? No strings attached now, right? Unbelievable. Does mom know about this? No, of course not. Why would I tell her any of this? It's none of her business. Oh my god. And you better not tell her. She thinks I found a new place all by myself. So keep it that way, okay? Oh, this is so stupid. Oh my god, I'm checking out. I don't need to deal with two idiots like you guys. I've got better things to do with my time. No, wait! You have to help me! Can you lend me some money? I'll move out and look for a job, I swear! No, that's enough bullcrap from you. I'll talk to you later, Shelly. No, wait, Amelia! Still need to talk to you! Please, don't leave me like this! Shelly and Boris have been bombarding me with calls and texts. But I'm not giving them the time of day. Boris is too cowardly to face me in person. So he keeps sending me lame apologies. They're all the same. He says Shelly lied to him about the pregnancy. He says he doesn't love her. He says he's sorry. Blah, blah, blah. I already know all that. No surprises there. I'm just going to keep ignoring him forever. I told mom everything that happened and now she's giving my sister the cold shoulder. Good. She deserves it. As for me, I'm working hard to make sure I can still take over Boris's father's company. That's my main goal right now. But maybe someday I'll meet a nice guy who has a decent job and loves me and will be loyal to me. Until then, good riddance to my sister and Boris. And cheers to my single life.